Hello, welcome back. Uh, still on unit three of our circuits work. Um, the thing I want to explore here is what happens to the flow of charges, uh, the rate of flow, the current, uh, as I add more bulbs into my loop. That's the question I want to explore today. Um, now I'm going to start with just one bulb and I don't want to burn it out. So one quick change that I made before I started is I've switched over to having just a two cell battery here instead of my usual three cell battery. So we can expect then that the bulbs will be a little bit dimmer if you think back to when we saw one cell versus two versus three previously. So things will be a little dimmer than normal, but I don't want to burn out this one bulb, so here we go. Um, and you can see when I just set up this circuit with one bulb, um, it does glow pretty brightly right now. Um, but also I think I'm interested in, uh, so I can get a little more detail, um, I want to explore how much does a compass turn. So I am going to make a quick compass measurement with one bulb in this two cell circuit. And so I set this up and the compass needle turns. It turned counterclockwise by maybe 15 degrees or so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in one more bulb into this circuit. So now I've got my standard two bulb circuit, except I've only got a two cell battery here instead of the usual. Um, just to get a quick look at the brightness of the bulbs, we can see that they are not quite as bright as they usually are with the circuit because I've got one less cell. But let's check how much the compass turns. So I line up And that is uh, maybe a little more than 10, but less than 15 degrees, I think. So not quite as much as before. And now what if I add in a third? What if I add in a third bulb into this loop? So checking brightness, these bulbs are all really, really dim. So each time I added a bulb, the bulbs all got less dim. And let's do a quick check on what the compass does. If I can get this lined up. And it looks like it's about 10 degrees. So I've seen just some slight decreases in the compass reading. There are very small decreases, uh, but I think I do see very slightly smaller compass readings each time I add in one more bulb into the loop. So that gives us some interesting things to think about. And I'll see you soon. Bye.